Very nicely done by Joe Ellenberger. Barberina trying to get out of it. Ellenberger reaches underneath and grabs that right hand. He's going to try to tuck it behind his back if he can. That's bad news for Barberina. That's a bad position to be in. If your opponent can control your arm and shove it behind your back, both to set up submissions, but also to make it so that it's very difficult for you to defend against ground and pound. Now, Joe lost that hand now. Let's see if he tries to get it back. Trying to work his way back to his feet, Barberina. Nice knee. And again to the thigh of his opponent. Good job by Barberina getting back up to his feet. He's got to be more good elbow there by Barberina. He's got to be more active. He's a bit hesitant. Took him a minute and ten seconds before he even attempted any strikes. With that rare blood disease, Joe Ellenberger was forced out of mixed martial arts for nearly two years, but he's come back very, very strong. 15 and one, Joe, in his MMA career. Just about to the midway point of round number one. Barbarina in the red, Ellenberger in the black. Barbarina trying to cut off the octagon. Just missed with oh, a good right hand by Elberger. Yeah, good counter and again. another takedown. Nicely done. He's got his back. One hook in. Elberger, 11 career first round finishes. No hooks at all here, just holding on to him. Trying for a jumping knee. Joe did have that time off. Partner, but he has not lost since 2011. There's a nice short elbow again. And Barbarina's got very nice elbows yeah. from a tight distance. Bam Bam looking to walk him down. Benson Henderson, Efrain Escudero. John Moraga, all the guys talk about the Saturday sparring sessions at the MMA lab. And Benson said, I got to get my sleep Friday Jump into night because we go hard. Away. There you see Smooth, the former Enjoy champion. Enjoy your magic. Good job, Brian. Brian, head position. Head position. About forearms, that modified one side clinch. Under a minute now. They're calling for a mo modified Muay Thai clinch. Not exactly sure what they're referring to. Right hand on the break there by Barbarina. Oh, good straight right by Joe. Mark Delagrati saying, Joe, it's kind of a hybrid. It's not on the neck, it's not low. You know, where the wrestling staff, kind of right there in the middle is what they were calling for. 20 seconds. Joe Ellenberg has landed some good hands yeah, this, he has. this round. Barbarina hasn't landed much at all. Final seconds of the round. Great first round. Listen. He's just trying to pressure you, okay? Three deep breaths. Go. Step in and hit him, bro. With your set up, okay? Be behind your jab, all right? He's touching you and he's getting range on you. Don't let him do that, okay? Take that jab from him by checking and jabbing yourself, okay? And they take that step to the side and hit him with the, with the right hand, man, okay? Because he's trying to get... Go and hit him anyway. He's not getting the right angles in. I need you to pressure him when you angle. Like, you're letting him circle to your right too much. <laughs> he circles, step in, throw the hook, and your uppercut. Yes, Let's go get this kid, yes, all right? That's his round, okay? That was his round. Short punches, man. <laughs> Brian Barbarina. Joe Ellenberger. Good first round for Ellenberger. Really stifling the striking attack of Barbarina.
Ellenberger's corner, his brother Jake was very happy with that round. John Crouch, on the other hand, in Barbarina's corner, emphatically asking him to go get this kid. Wow. He's trying, Joe, but Ellenberger's swinging. Just missed with that uppercut. And a good flurry. And we see a more aggressive Barbarina here early based on what you said, what John Crouch was talking about when we were in commercial break. Yeah, I mean, he was really urging it on Barbarina to attack. He just felt like he was way too hesitant in that first round. But it's understandable. First fight ever in the UFC. It's uh, quite an adrenaline dump he must have gone through. Good inside leg kicks by Barbarina. These are really upsetting. Joe Ellenberger's balance. There you see his uh, twin brother, Jake. Jake fights at 170, Joe at 155. Yeah, we, go. we go on our terms, Joe. Definitely different body type. Keep moving your feet. Keep that jab in his face. Again, Barbarina is landing that inside leg kick very nicely. And that's a painful kick to absorb. Ryan Jensen, UFC veteran, also in the corner of Ellenberger. And another fighter from Omaha, Nebraska. And Barbarina really sitting down on his strikes in this round, Mike. Big difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, big difference in his approach. He's, you know, look, he loves John Crouch. He wants to impress him. And uh, he's motivated by that pep speech in the corner. Absolutely. 25 years old. And a great opportunity to begin his UFC career here at home. Good need the body there by Joe. Joe doesn't possess that one strike knockout power that his brother Jake does, but he's trying to put together some combinations and get that cumulative effect on Barbarina. Now he'll probably throw a big overhand right. Three minutes. Well done. Bar, he's throwing it nice and low, too, very similar to the way Benson I was, I was just going to say the same thing, partner, exactly. They usually follow that up with the punch. Yeah, Benson was one of the first guys in the, in the UFC to utilize that, that kick, essentially for the cap. Good right hand by Ellenberger. But Barbarina stayed in the pocket yes. and landed a great shot of his own. Much different Brian Barbarina here in round two. Again, a hard inside low leg kick to the calf area. It'll affect his movement. His ability to shoot. It breaks you down. But you get the attention and then you follow it up. Good stiff jab by Barbarina. As Joe said, that's what Smooth has done very well. Make that low kick the start of a combination. Good feints and then a nice right left. Late kicks landed now. Barbarina with 11 and he'll look for more. A lot of them that low kick we talked about. Ellenberger almost entirely counter-striking here in round two. Back to the center. Just get your attention even when it's that little kick. Ellenberger kind of seems like he's waiting out the storm. Yeah. You know, like... He just sort of moves away from Barbarina's attacks and tries to look for his openings, playing a patient game here. In so doing, though, Joe, is he giving away round two? He very well could be. Clinch. So far, Barbarina has been winning the exchanges, but anything can happen. 40 seconds to go. Stay home. That's the way to stay home, man. Good eyes, Brian. Good eyes, Brian. We listen to Benson once again. He's heavy. He's heavy. 20. Kick up the middle. Nice hook by Joe Ellenberger. Whenever Barbarina, Ellen, sorry, Joe. Yeah, sorry, whenever Ellenberger is striking, Barbarina is coming back stronger and harder. I mean, he's just much more aggressive, much more 
much more intense. You okay? Hey, listen. The only way you can win is that wild overhand right, and he wants to take down so bad. If you can give, that's your round, but it's close. I need a tiny bit more volume from you. You did much better cutting him off to your right that round. you feel it? Hey, listen. He throws into the outside. That's the magic three kill. When you throw that three, he's ducking under. Throw your two. He's got to watch his overhand, OK? And that was good. Stay on your punch. Stephens there. Body locks are there. Everything's there. But I like your foot. Your foot movement's great. Don't, you're not getting hit. Don't let him hit you. Yo, the jabs behind your foot movement yes. and follow your hip with the right hand. A lot of Joe Ellenberger in round two. A lot of this man, Brian Barberina. Or pardon me, round one in round two. Five minutes remain in this fight. Joe Ellenberger looking for another UFC victory. Brian Barberina looking to win in his debut. They clinch. And a takedown by Ellenberger. Nicely done. And this is what Ellenberger needs. Third takedown for Joe. And he was having some serious issues with the stand-up of Barberini in that second round. Wasn't able to take the fight to the ground in that round. And now back up. That was Benson Henderson coaching him there. Yelling out, go the other direction. Go the other direction. Your left leg will be free. And he's up. Hard elbows by Barberina. Benson Henderson, one of the most unselfish, not just fighters, human beings you will meet. He is the ultimate team guy. And they break with four minutes on the clock. Barberina on short notice, the southpaw. Barbarina, even though he took the fight on short notice, appears to be the guy with the better gas tank. When Barbarina Joe was asked what his strengths are, he said heart, toughness, and the beard. <laughs> oh, good combination for Barbarina. And a knee. He may have been in trouble. Looking to finish the fight. Barbarina on top of Ellenberger. Ellenberger trying to tie something up here. He got rocked. He's doing a good job defensively off of his back. That's that aggressiveness that John Crouch talked to Barbarina about after round one. Good hammer fist by Barbarina. Look at, he just looked over to Benson. Benson's screaming out instructions. He's telling him how to pass. Get it, get it, Benson, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Under John Crouch. With a black belt as well. Elbow, knee, right knee to the body. Right knee to the body. I mean, this kid is literally listening to everything his coach is saying. Ellenberg is breaking down quickly, Joe. And he's been tagged. Yeah, big shot. Is trying to finish the fight. Gotta watch the uptick. He senses the finish here. Elbow. Ellenberger really got rocked with that combination and then the flurry that followed. Elbow again. Herb Dean's taking a very close look at Ellenberger. You need to fight back, I'll stop it. There you go, Herb Dean on cue, Joe. Yeah, all, all Barbarina has to do is put yeah. together a real crazy flurry here. And Herb is going to stop it. Big elbow. Joe Allenberger in a bad spot here. With Barberina all over him. This could be it. Hit it. It's all over. Brian Barberina wins his UFC debut right here in his hometown.